And I would like to start by saying that this is leaving us with a problem. This is a time bomb. We have witnessed something similar to that in Lebanon. At a time when the Palestinian, the PLO, were present in Lebanon, and then Israel decided to occupy the land of Lebanon to push away the Palestinians from the border. They never left without resistance that took place in Lebanon and forced them out. The same situation is going to be happening right now in Syria. We have the Arab League, and the uh, Arab League should be involved in the political settlement that takes place in Syria. Any zone that we are discussing right now, it's clearly obvious to everybody that the Americans are looking at it from one angle and the Turks are looking at it from a different angle, as you just said. Obviously, obviously there's a misunderstanding on who we're going to put in the safe zone. So who do you think should be in that safe zone, if anyone should be in that safe zone? First of all, a political settlement in Syria will decide what should happen. So more talks, that include Syria. But in the meantime, that's not going to happen for, sadly, it's going to happen, not going to happen tomorrow. Nothing's going to happen tomorrow, but, but I can tell you that if we go from one side and impose a solution in this area, this is going to create another problem that the world will have to deal with. Because it's clear that the Turks are saying they're there to push the Kurds away. The Americans are saying they want protection for the Kurds there. Obviously, this is not resolved. It requires more, to more talks. It requires political solution. And above all, and most importantly, the Arabs should be involved in that solution. And Syria now is a country, whether you agree with the regime or you don't agree with the regime, any foreign troops that are going to be there on the ground should be discussed with the government of Syria. And my friend from Turkey just said that they're not there to be an occupation or to try and change a situation in the region or to try and impose a solution in that area. But that cannot happen from one side. You need to negotiate with someone, if not the Syrian government, the Arab League. Do they accept that this zone will be controlled by a country that is neighboring to Syria? If not, you're going to expect problems. 